and what we have achieved, well, what you <laughs> have achieved as a nation since uh, 1971 and all the things that we're looking uh, towards in the future, that's healthy nationalism, saying we are no worse than our counterparts elsewhere. Blind nationalism, on the other hand, is the attitude where people say, and we can find that from the highest level sometimes in the government downwards, when people say, we don't need anybody foreign to tell us whether we're doing uh, well or we're not doing well. And it's not about nationalism, it is about international standards. So it is arrogant to say that we only need our local standards to comply with. So every time somebody from IUB, be it a faculty member or student, gets on the international stage, exposes themselves to international standards, is evaluated by international adjudicators, and they succeed, that really adds value to what we are doing here at IUB. The three examples that we have today, we'll hear more about them from themselves and from other speakers, so I'm not going to go into any details, but all three of them share what I just explained. They went out there in the... One small state for a man and one giant leap for mankind, I would like to say, one small state for an Iubian, one giant leap for IUB. The University Robot Challenge, URC, is the world's premier robotic competition for university students organized by Mars Society, sponsored by Protofix and Microsoft, held annually in a Mars Desert Research Station, Southern Utah in the United States. URC challenges the student teams to design and build the next generation of Mars rovers that will one day work alongside astronauts exploring the Red Planet. Team attendant, the team of the Independent University Bangladesh, secured first position in the whole Asia in the University Rover Challenge 2018 held at Utah, USA. Team attendant became second in Asia in URC 2017 as well. Last year, team attendant uh, basically, the main things that uh, changed this year was uh, uh, all the other teams. Of course, they had more you know, I mean, knowledge and, and tools. But uh, for our rover, you saw that uh, it does not look fancy. So that's what I always say. And then all the judges there, they were telling us the same thing again and again. That uh, no one expected that this could do that much work. And uh, one thing everyone will agree, my team of course, and uh, every morning at uh, 7 o'clock, around 6.37, we'll sit and then strategize how to perform that day. And it is not about, it was always not about targeting 100 marks. Our strategy was targeting the maximum score and which part. Participating in one of the biggest robot competitions was challenging and full of wonderful experiences. If we had to share our challenges, I would say losing our luggage with our rover parts in it was extremely scary. But through our difficulties, we learned how to overcome them and come back stronger. I was the science lead of our team, team attendant. To be back here. Uh, just a very quick tale of what debating entails and what IUDC is because Debating is a very complex sport. Uh, the people who debate, most of them are sitting here, go through a very different lifestyle than others. On weekends, uh, especially for Zobar, I think since age 15, he spent all his weekends at debate tournaments. He doesn't get a lot of time to do other things, but his entire day is devoted to going through documentaries, devoted to learning about geopolitics of the world, devoted to learning about different social issues. And then learning about them, and trying to create arguments and logical questions all about all of those things that they learned in seven minutes is an extremely difficult task, but it's something these debaters do on a weekly basis. But it's one thing to just do it representing IUBDC. Uh, these three people saw the dream of representing IUB in the United Nations Debating Championship for the first time in IUB's history. And that is a very difficult task because at this, these tournaments, you compete with the likes of National University of Singapore the likes of International Islamic University of Malaysia, the best universities from India, the best universities from Pakistan. 
the best even from universities like uh, from countries like Afghanistan finding new species, uh, new animals, is uh, publishing them and and trying to work with the local people and find solution how to save that animal and the forest. And also work with the government to make sure that they can ensure the protection of our beautiful forest and our wildlife. So people ask me what good are turtles or what good are animals? Why do we need to save the forest and species? Because we often forget that at the end of the day when we destroy our last trees and the river, we cannot eat money. I mean, saving uh, biodiversity or saving environment is saving us. And what I'm uh, trying to do or doing my part to have a, uh, to make sure that we have a beautiful uh, planet for a future generation. So it has been, uh, um, uh, my work had, I have the opportunity. Uh, Students and most importantly, your bodies who we are honoring today. This is really a pleasure for me to be here today, you know, and I think Today's award ceremony exemplifies all that is distinctive about IUB as an institution. Uh, IUB is a very special place. I think it's a place which was founded 25 years ago, and today is our, uh, this year is our 25th anniversary, with a particular vision by a group of visionaries, many of whom are sitting right in front of me, but with a particular notion that we would be different. We would not be like any other university. We would not be like any other institution. And the way that we would be different is we would celebrate innovation. We would celebrate social engagement. We would celebrate coming together of diverse disciplines, different ways of thinking. And this is exemplified by our focus on our liberal arts education, which at its heart is all about trying to be engaged in the world. While we do, just like every other university, celebrate and support academic achievement in a sort of narrow sense, but in addition to that, what we are pushing is that the ideal IUB graduate is one of those awardees that you're seeing today. It's someone who not only is academically competent in their own particular discipline, but does more than that. He or she goes beyond just academics. He or she follows their passion, follows out-of-the-box thinking, comes together across disciplines, works with other people to do things which are different than what other people are doing. And today we are celebrating three groups of awardees who in their own way I think exemplify the highest ideals of the University of Bangladesh. And I'd like to give a hand to all of them. I, I'm just amazed, you know, one of the best things about being a vice chancellor of a university like IMP is you don't even know how good your students are until you hear about them. And then I say, my God, you're doing such amazing things. And because it's not Ironically, it's not that uncommon, you know, you get... Could find an appropriate month then to celebrate the victories that you have brought in to the country and to the university. In this month of December, we have brought this country after a victory of this long liberation war. So delaying the distribution of this, uh, of celebrating this occasion, which partially is my fault because uh, Russia Chaudhary has been pushing me to have this few months ago, and somehow the update hasn't happened. But, uh, but the delay has not brought much bad. In fact, it has brought in the tower. Month of victory, month of vijaya, and this is a victory, so I think we can celebrate all of this together. IUB was set up with a lot of thoughts, but the thought was always to bring Bangladesh up and Bangladesh forward. When we set up the environmental school, I think we were the first school in Bangladesh to set up an environment. My chancellor, faculties, and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, also dear students. It is indeed a great pleasure for me to be part of this celebration of success by our students. I'm really proud of that. And it's a great occasion for the Indian University, Bangladesh, to honor and acknowledge. Our dear student for the recent achievement in various academic and technical fields, both regionally and globally. It has been a, it has been elaborated by the guest speaker earlier. It's 
So I don't like to go into details in that. Uh, I, I, on behalf of the two, make it short, short speech. I, on behalf of the Honorable Trustees and myself, extend a very warm congratulation and felicitation for this great honor by our students, which have met our university and nation real problem. At the same time, I also thank the faculties of the respective department to reflect this honor equally with our great achiever. And it remains a steady academic, a steady encouragement to the fellow students to bring commendable academic honor in the years ahead. Pranavish Shankar is not here, but 
Dr. Chiklaru is going to take his uh, press on his behalf. And I again impress the uh, last chance of the honest. Please, sir. Shall I shamne? Thank you, sir. One more, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. जी भैया और टू कैमरा तक भैया